Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you another ASP ROM which is known as the Xenon HD and by the same developer Hassan Sada and he has developed many ASP ROMs like the experience and uh, okay I forgot all the names so many Lineage OS also he has uh, like remade and the latest update is made by him and I don't know which upper which building is uh, build number 3 for the Lineage I think with Volte and all the bugs fixed I don't know when it was released or it is under development or it is not so let's review this and see how it is first of all we will need to boot into recovery mode and as you all know our first step volume up button, home button and the power button so yes this boot animation I am not liking it because I flashed it one time and I don't have the time to again download and do it let's go wipe ok first of all back up your older rom select storage as internal or SD card anything now just go to wipe go to advanced wipe dalvik cage data and system and just swipe to wipe and after the wipe one more time just go to install into your internal storage or xd card and here's the xenon hd so i will do and i'm not flashing gs because it takes some time so let's quickly look upon it and also I don't know what it is based on lineage OS or some other AOSP build or AOSP extended ROM it is based on let's look upon it so uh, one thing about common all these AOSP ROMs are the bugs the bugs are same I don't know when they will be fixed but developers are trying to fix them so as everyone wants AOSP Volte. It makes very easier, uh, RAM is more uh, free more and we get good performance, only the battery problem is there, the deep sleep is not working. So what is this cancel option, in between I am cancelling this, do not install. So this TWRP is really annoying, so this bootlog is also annoying. I love the original Samsung J7 black one. Okay, so Xenon HD boot animation is also good. Let me uh, do the brightness to the uh, low so that you can see it clearly. See this boot logo. Very awesome. Boot animation. So let's wait till this ROM boots up and we will review it. The ROM is booted up and uh, first of all let's uh, dim the brightness not too low because so uh, welcome okay same Nova launcher skip it so uh, why I'm thinking like this is the same as the experience thing okay blue things uh, so it is looking like the resurrection remix ROM when you first enter the uh, and it's running on 7.1.1 having configurations 7.1.2 the latest android nougat version and let me increase the brightness here yes xenon hd and uh, unofficial hasin sardar baseband version ok so setting status is enforcing Okay, Lineage OS base, the kernel is Lineage OS, so I think uh, it is based on Lineage OS, develop options, you have the advanced restart, let's see if the hotspot is working or not, so you can directly uh, see that because it gives error, okay, uh, okay, substratum support is also there, that's great, you can apply themes, a lot of themes, and you can also apply the android oreo theme which i have made a separate video i think two videos before and hotspot is uh, working yep hotspot is working and you can see uh, yes it is not giving any error 
so hotspot has been fixed let's see the lock screen flickering is there or not so okay this time it's not flickering it uh, flicker after some time so about Wi-Fi is working or not okay working it's uh, no need to connect to any Wi-Fi network let's see if the data is working okay only voltage is not working so good this time the hotspot has been fixed and I don't know if data is working or not okay data selection is uh, important so going to sim cards data selection ID I don't know what my sister uses okay so data is working so I will uh, quickly disconnect it so everything is working here and the lock screen flickering is also not happening now yes not happening it also has substratum support so you can install the substratum app and you can apply themes so we have audio effects contacts the google apps magisk manager so the rom is pre-rooted with magisk okay no the rom is not rooted so uh, install the latest super su the link is in the description below and we have substratum support yes this is the main in every aosp rom should have substratum support so that we can apply themes because the latest lineage OS do not have any CM theme engine or not and now going into configurations we get the Selenix switch quick unlock so this is same as the experience one we get on screen navbar the google pixel one with animations and now going into uh, now the status bar configurations traffic indicators battery percentage inside the icon or next to the icon anything you can but inside looks cool clock position center you can show notification count super save indicator traffic indicators too and going to display you can have the theme selection ambient display is also there wake screen when you receive notifications so the screen will wake up when you receive notifications with the uh, ambient screen storage okay some of it is used battery so I'm not sure about the battery if it has the deep sleep problem but still if the lock screen flickering is problem is not there I can use this because only problem I had was like that the lock screen flickering I think it is fixed so you have the performance balanced performance so if you are gaming you can use this if you are not gaming use this power save ok so let's see 18 and privacy guard you have with every ASP ROM accessibility settings and here all so this was the ROM review and here are some apps you can get OT updates from here if any update is available so uh, this was the review for the Xenon HD ROM and still now the lock screen flickering is not available but I will uh, keep this wrong for some time like one or two hours and see if the lock screen flickering is happening and I will post down in the comment section and if any time the lock screen flickering is happening you can see it on the screen now so if you like this video press the like button if you dislike the video press the dislike button and also the feedback will be down in the comment section also comment about the help or queries related to this ROM or any other ROM and uh, Subscribe for more videos. There's nothing more. Subscribe and uh, thank you uh, all the subscribers. We have reached 1250 subscribers and we will reach more and more like 1500, 2000, and 3, 4, 5, and many more with all your support and with uh, my videos. So goodbye and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye bye bye.